Some of the big boys return to action this coming weekend with the return of the FA Cup. We will see any giant killings on our hands. We'll take a look next. prediction video today we look forward to match day number it is actually the fourth round of the fa cup and we'll get to that in just one second if you're new where you been smash your subscribe button keep my day all things uh, <coughs> fa cup related Batman rose related world football related we got it all here boys under uh, one ruski of course Batman rovers are not in the fa cup but some of the big boys still there and still got hopes of silverware we'll take a look at all of them in a minute of course people shout to my vips they're the patreons guys uh, thank you for your love of course behind the scenes so anyway let's get into it of course uh recap last time of course, the last match is the results, my picks, your picks, all that kind of stuff. And then we're we'll kicking off forward to the next round matches as well. Kicking all off with this one. Swindon Town did lose to Manchester City 4-1 in the end. Uh, Mansfield uh, pushed them close. But that is Middlesbrough. 3-2 it was, though, for the bottom. They go through uh, to round four. Coventry I picked up a one over Derby there. Threw Derby out. Burnley are also out. Of course, crashing out to Huddersfield. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Blackpool also crashed out to Hartlepool. Bit of a surprise on that one as well. Uh, Bristol City came close to knocking out Fulham, but unfortunately Fulham go through 1-0 in, in the end. Uh, Crystal Palace did beat Millwall go through. Of course, Bournemouth, they're still in it. Of course, we've got a bit of a tasty one for them after knocking out Wimbledon. West Bromwich Albion are out. They lose to Brighton of Albion. Of course, Kidder Mr. Harris also going through. Reading go out. Uh, some One of the major shocks last time. Now, Leicester City picked up a four-woman over Watford in, the, of course, the Cloudy Ranieri derby. Uh, meanwhile, Port Vale crash out to Brentford, four in the end. Wigan did take care of business against Blackburn Rovers. Of course, Newcastle are uh, out as well. Cambridge United big, big wins there. Barnsley, 5-4 thriller. Goodness gracious me, that was a game and a half, of course. And Bristol uh, uh, Rovers are out. Peterborough are through. Meanwhile, the back end of the bracket then, shall we? Of course, QPR. Uh, penalties was the deciding factor between themselves and Rotherham. Swansea City picked up a 3-2 loss against Southampton. Chelsea are through quite comfortably. Hull City kept it close again against uh, Everton, but of course, they crash out. Uh, Birmingham City are out. Uh, Plymouth are through. Yeovil are out. Bournemouth go through. Luton Town, 4-0 winners over Harrogate Town, Stoke City uh, beat uh, Leighton Orient in the end. Liverpool also comfortably through with a 4-1 win. Cardiff are out. Press, I'm sorry, Cardiff are through. Preston are out. Spurs, of course, a little bit of a nervy time against Morgan, but of course they got the, the shit together in the end. Uh, Wolves, 3 new winners over Sheffield United. Of course, West Ham are through as well. Charlton uh, are out. Norwich City go through. Forest, surprise, surprise, did knock out Arsenal one win in the end. Of course, Manchester United, just the one they win over Aston Villa as well. That's the state of play in the third round, of course. Take a look at your predictions then for this week. How did you all do? Well, Russell Frost did absolutely fantastic with 27 points on the board Chef is up there with of course 23 and uh, Jimmy Boy as well the patrons kicking ass and taking names uh, but of course the grand old scheme of things looks like this uh, take a bow Eman Hussein with 60 points on the board General Jack's up there and Shane O'Donnell and Shepard make up the power three of course a whole host of points on the offering again for the next round of matches we'll take a little look at them in just a second so of course make sure you bang your subscribe bang your thumbs up and of course hit the little bell if you want to get involved with the next round of matches cut the four shots the FA Cup is your answer but of course these are the games then uh, let's take a little look at those games. Of course, it has been a bit of a mini break for the top flight teams over in England. Uh, so they are, of course, looking forward to returning. And, of course, we have some zinger-zingers some on our hand, including a Friday night. We have a match up against Middlesbrough. Of course, they haven't played each other in a long time, but they'll lock on for the 34th time at Old Trafford. Of course, the previous 33, there were 20, match, 20 wins for Man United, 6 wins for Middlesbrough and 7 draws. Just one defeat the past six games, though, for Manchester United. 75% form for them. Up against the Middlesbrough side, who've just lost once in the past six. 83% uh, form for them right now. Last time I played each other, though, at Old Trafford, it was 2-1 win for, Middles, um, for Manchester United. That was, of course, back in uh, December 2016 in the Premier League. Uh, of course, coming at you, though, uh, Man United picked up a one-on-one over West Ham. That's, of course, back on the 22nd of January. Minsk have picked up a one-on-one over Coventry last round as well. Look at the odds for this one, then. We have 3-1 on as United, 41 should draw, and 52 is your, of course, Middlesbrough on this one. I'm actually going with Man United here, 2 to win comfortably to go through at home. Meanwhile, Chelsea take on Plymouth. Or well, the early kickoffs on, of course, Saturday. Play each other zero times, these two sides. Of course, Chelsea get to 75% form, just one defeat past six games to them, 75% form. Up against Plymouth side, who have uh, just one more than said four, 58% form, of course, over at Stamford Bridge. Uh, of course, heading into this one, Chelsea did play Spurs last time around back on the 23rd of Jan. It was a 2 0 win for Chelsea. Meanwhile, Plymouth coming to this, oh my god, 3 1 over Doncaster, of course. And they are actually uh, uh, underdogs, of course, massively. 28 1 to beat Chelsea on their own turf. Chelsea 60 1 on for the victory, and 10 1 is your long shot. Also, a 
draw on this one. Chelsea should have no problems here. 3 0 win for them over Plymouth to go through as well. Also, early kick of its Kidderminster. They were taking on West Ham United, of course, over in Kidderminster. And these two sides, according to my eyes, played each other zero times. It'll be the first time that they've locked horns on the 5th of Feb as well. 75% uh, form for Kidderminster. That's just one defeat the past six games. Uh, they haven't actually lost any of the last nine home matches, so they could force a draw here at the very least. Is there a, is there a draw option or would it go straight to penalties? Anyway, uh, West Ham coming to this 67% form for them right now. Uh, just a back to back defeats for them heading into this match. Uh, of course, West Ham coming to this on the back of that loss against Manchester United. Of course, Kidderminster did draw with Gloucester over in their uh, whatever league that is. It is the National League North. I look at the odds for this one then. Kidderminster 10 to 1 for the victories. 7 2 on is your West Ham. 17 to 4 is your draw. I'm going to go with a win for Hammers here. It's going to be tight. 2 1 win. Maybe even go to extra time as Kidderminster will park their bloody boss. Uh, of course, kicking off a little bit forward. It'll be Crystal Pass up against Hartlepool at uh, Selhurst Park. Uh, play each other just the one time, 2004. And uh, of course, Crystal Pass coming to this. Uh, and that was the one win. Uh, of course. Uh, Crystal Pass coming to this, just one win and four for them. 42% for Max Hartley Pool side, just one defeat, about six for them. However, if you flip it around, uh, just one win in five, 58% form. Drawing a lot of games that have Hartley Pool. Other one on return, they played each other back in 2004. Um, of course, it was a, a 2 1 win for Crystal Palace in the round two of the EFL Cup. Uh, meanwhile, Crystal Palace did lose to Liverpool last time around. Exeter picking up a draw with Hartley Pool last time around as well. Common Atcher, 8 1 uh, on is your Crystal Pass, 32 is your draw, 20 1 is your long shot as Hartley Big occasion for Hartlepool, of course, to get some money in. A 2 0 win there for Crystal Pass in the end. Huddersfield take on Barsley in the old championship affair. Of course, a bit of a Yorkshire affair as well. Played each other 30 times since 1995. 10 wins to Huddersfield, 14 wins to Barsley, and six draws. Of course, Huddersfield unbeaten in the last 10 games, of course, winning three, losing, winning three, and drawing three in the last six. 75% form. I guess the Barsley side just one win in a six, seven, 25% form for them as well. Last time I played each other at the, the John Smith's Kirkley's at Macalpine was a 1 0 win for Barsley back in April 2021. They also played each other this season in Barsley. It was a 1 1 draw, uh, of course, back in December. Huddersfield pick up a draw against Stoke last time around. Barnsley pick up a loss against Bournemouth last time around. Look at the odds for this one. We have Huddersfield 64 on for the victory. 30 to 5 is your draw. 70 to 4 is your away win. I'm going to go with Huddersfield here. They look good right now. And of course, the cup run will be quite fancy for them as well. Peterborough will take it on uh, QPR and another... And another uh, old championship affair. They've played each other nine times. It's three, three wins apiece and three draws, of course. Peter coming to this, just one win in the past six. 25% form. Ambassador QPR side won five of the past six. 92% form as well. They haven't actually lost in the last seven as well. They've got a winning streak of four in the bounce uh, for QPR. Uh, but that's away from home. Meanwhile, coming at you though, last time I played each other at was two win for Peterborough. That's back in October 2021. That was this season, of course. Peterborough, though, coming into this on the back of a 2 0 loss against Sheffield United. QPR up a 4 0 win over Reading. And they come into this on back to back clean sheets. In fact, just one goal conceded in the last four games. That's QPR. Look at the odds for this one. 11 to 5 is your Peterborough. 12 to 5 is your draw. And 6 to 5 is your away win. That's QPR. Going to go with QPR here to get a 2 1 win. And again, go with a hat for the fifth round of the FA Cup. Southampton, they're going to be taking on Coventry, of course, uh, at St. Mary's. Now, these two sides have played each other 27 times in 1993. Nine wins for Southampton, six for Coventry, and 12 draws. This is the Adam Armstrong derby, of course. Just one defeat the past six games for Southampton. Coming at just 67% form against Coventry side, winning three, losing, and draw, and losing three out of the last six. 50% form as well. Last time they played at St. Mary's was a 4 0 win for Southampton back in April 2012. That was in the Championship, of course, the last day of the season, I believe. 4 0 win for Southampton. Southampton competition on the way of that draw against Manchester City. Of course, Coventry did lose to Middlesbrough last time around. The odds, though, for this one, Coventry are actually 5 to 1 for the long shots. 2 to 1 is your Southampton, and 10 to 3 is your draw. The Saints. So keep on marching on here with a 3 0 win for them. Maybe even Adam Armstrong getting a goal as well. Everton under, of course, Frankie Lampard taking on Brentford in an all Premier League tie here. Of course, Christian Eriksen could make his debut for Brentford. Of course, uh, Everton could uh, give debuts to Deli Alley if he's not cup tied. And of course, Donny van der Beek as well. Uh, played each other two times in 2010. Two wins out of two for Brentford. Good discretion. They're coming to this though. Four defeats on the bounce. 33% form. I guess Everton ties just one win in six of them. 25% form. Of course, they have played each other once already this season. It was in Brentford. It was a one win for Brentford. That was back in November 2021. Uh, of course, Brentford. Brentford also beat them uh, uh, 12 years ago in the EFL Cup. Seven goal thriller it was in Brentford. Meanwhile, Everton could on the back of that loss against Aston Villa. Uh, Brentford did lose to Wolves last time around as well. Look at the odds for this one. We have Everton 21 to 20 for the Richie 52 is your weight, that's a Brentford and 23 to 10 is your draw. I made this pick without even knowing who would be the gaffer. I actually thought Duncan Ferguson would be in charge here. 2 1 in the end for Everton for me on this. Stoke City up against a very, very difficult. Um, uh, Wigan Athletic now, shall we? Of course, owning the FA Cup. This match, of course, will take place same day as well at the Bet365 Stadium. Of course, it's going to take me a minute to get there. Uh, of course, they're familiar foes from the championship days, but of course, I haven't played in a little bit uh, now. But of course, they'll be playing with each other for the 22nd time of the previous 21. Five wins for Stoke, seven wins for Wigan, and nine draws. Uh, coming at you, though, uh, Stoke... 
Uh, what are we looking at here? Stoke, Stoke, Stoke. Three, uh, three, uh, winning three games for them, 42% form. Up against the Wigan side, who have won five of the past six, 92% form as well. Coming at you, they haven't actually lost in the last 19. Coming at you, though, uh, what are we looking at here? Last time, in Stoke was 2-1 for Stoke. Uh, that was back in November 2019 in the Championship. Uh, of course, Stoke picking up a draw against Huddersfield. Wigan picking up a draw against Cheltenham last time around. I uh, got basic odds on this one. Of course, the basic odds go in favour of Stoke. They are the favourites. Wigan are the underdogs. Uh, but I actually fancy uh, Wigan to take something out of this one. 3-2 in the end, and maybe go through to the hat of the fifth round. Kicking a forward is man. Manchester City taking on Fulham, of course. It's the table toppers in the Premier League, against the table toppers in the Championship. Now, they've played 33 times since 1999. 19 minutes of Manchester City, four minutes of Fulham, and 10 draws, of course. Man, Man City Capitals, 92% form, winning five of the last six. Up against Fulham side, winning five of the last six, 92% form as well. Last time they played in, uh, in the FEA, it was a 2 0 win for City way back in December 2020. It was a 2 0 win in the end. Uh, coming at you, Man City picked up a draw against Southampton. Fulham picked up a draw against Blackpool as well. Look at the odds, though, for this one 7 1 on is your City, 7 1 is your draw, 40 to 1 is your long shots. That's Fulham for this. Man City will run right here. 3 new win for them. In the end, Wolves up against Norwich in an all-Premier League affair, of course, over at Molyneux. They each other 37 times since 1995. 17 wins for Wolves, 11 wins for uh, Norwich, and 9 draws. 5 wins in the past 6, though, for Wolves. They look very, very good right now. Manchester United performing. They haven't actually lost in the last 6. They've got a winning streak of 4 in a row. Meanwhile, Norwich coming to this with 3 wins in the last 4 games. Uh, of course, 50% form for them right now. Uh, of course, coming at you last time, pleasure at Molyneux was a 3 new win for Wolves back in February 2020. They also pleasure this season at Carrow and was a nil nil draw as well. Coming at you, though, uh, the odds for for this one, in fact, not the odds. Uh, what are we looking at here? Of course, uh, Wolves picked up a 2 1 over Brentford, Norwich picked up a 3 0 over Watford last time around. The odds, though, for this game is 2013 on is your Wolves, 75 is your draw, and 92 is your way when that's Norwich. Tight one here, gonna go with a 2 0 win for Wolves in the end. Cambridge, of course, who knocked out Newcastle, taking Luton Town this week. And of course, placed on the 24 times, 2002, 5 wins to Cambridge, 10 wins to Luton, and 9 draws. Just one defeat the past six games for Cambridge, 75% form up against the Luton Town side, also one defeat the past six as well, 75% form as well. Coming at you, that's not a picture that in Cambridge was a 1 1 draw back in uh, March 2018. I was in, of course, in League 2. Uh, Cambridge pick up a draw against Fleetwood last round. Luton pick up a 0-0 draw against Rovers, of course. Uh, draw odds on this one. 5-2 to is your Cambridge. 21-20 to is your Luton, of course. 12-5 is your draw. I think Cambridge, well, well, we were going to go with a 1-0 win here. A bit of a surprise here, of course. Home form, momentum, of course. The tech, they're going to get their uh, uh, hopes up as well. So 1-0 win for Cambridge for them at home. Next, of course, we have Spurs up against Brighton. An all Premier League affair as well. It is Conte up against Potter, of course. Uh, the 12th time they played each other, of course, in 2005. 8 wins for, uh, actually this will be the 12th time, the previous 11, 8 wins for Spurs, 2 wins for Brighton and 1 draw, 3 wins, 3 defeats, past 6 games for Tottenham at the moment, 50% form up against the Brighton side who haven't lost in the last 7 games, picked up 3 draws on the spin though, of course, but unbeaten in the last 7, meanwhile last night pleasure at Spurs was a 2-1 win for Tottenham back in November 2020, they also pleasure that this season, uh, no, they haven't. They've not played each other this, this season, so it'll be a first encounter. Spurs coming in on the back of their 2-0 loss against Chelsea. Brighton picking up a 1-1 draw against Leicester last round. Look at the odds, though, for this one. We have Spurs 20-17 on for the victory. 52 is your draw, and 60-5 is your away win. A 3-0 win in the end for Spurs, for me, on this one. Kicking off forward into Sunday's game. It's Liverpool up against Cardiff. It's the Craig Bellamy derby. Now, these two sides have played each other six times, 2007. Six wins for Liverpool, nothing for Cardiff, and zero draws. Liverpool coming to this unbeaten in the last six games, picking up four wins out of uh, the last five as well. 83% form against Cardiff side of 1-2 to the last uh, four, a uh, 42% form over the last six, though. Coming at you, that's the pleasure to add. Anfield was a 4 1 win for Liverpool back in October 2018. That was in the Premier League. Meanwhile, Liverpool picking up a 3 1 win over Crystal Palace. Cardiff picking up a 2 1 win over Nottingham Forest, of course. Uh, 6 1 on is your Liverpool, 4 60 to 1 is your long shots. That's Cardiff, and 6 to 1 is your draw. Liverpool will win this one as well. 4 0 win for them to go through to round five. Forest up against Leicester. Bit of a bit of crunch crash this one, uh, of course. Bit of a derby as well, you'd say. 26 times they've played since ninety three. Eight wins apiece and 10 draws. Forest coming to this winning four the last five, six, seven percent form up against the Leicester side who've lost just once the last four, 42 percent form as well. Last time I'm pretty sure that, of course, over at the City Grounds, a 2 2 draw back in February 2014. That was in the Championship, of course. Uh, Forest picking up a 2 1 loss against Cardiff last time. Leicester picking up a draw against Brighton last time. Look at the odds for this one 13 5 is your Forest, 5 2 is your draw. Even Stevens is your Leicester City. I'm going to go with a, draw, a win here. Again, a bit of a surprise here. Forest tails up Stevie Cooper effect to take it on with the big boys. Uh, and then finally, we have Bournemouth <laughs> up against the. Uh, 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 I don't know. I scrap that. Reverse that. Next up, we have Bournemouth <laughs> taking on Ball on Bloody Wood. That's right, of course, over in the FA Cup round four at the Vite, at the Liberty Stadium or wherever the heck it is. Uh, of course, uh, Bournemouth, a bit of a stinker is going on. We're trying to rattle the cages of all the fans around the EFL. Uh, of course, coming into this, uh, winning four of the last six, of course, six percent form up against the Bournemouth side, who have uh, unbeaten in the last 16 games, of course, 92% form for them right now. Coming at you, last time played, they haven't, they've never played each other, of course, but Bournemouth coming into this on the back of a 1 win over Barnsley. Bournemouth pick up a 3 1 win over Kings Lynn last time around. The odds, though, for this one go in favour, of course, Bournemouth. Uh, 
Bournemouth. 72 on for the victory. 11 to 1 is your long shot. So that's Bournemouth and 70 to 4 is your. I'm actually, I actually believe that Bournemouth could could cause a problem here. But ultimately, I think those they stink bubs will just nick it. One nil win in the end to go through to the round five. That's of course my take on the matches that of course are in the F4 round of the FA Cup. Be sure to get your own predictions in. Cutly for just FA Cup to see what you think will happen this time around. But until then, guys, that is pretty much it. Now, if you think you are a football genius, a football nerd, a football expert, and want to get involved with the channel, I'm trying to look for football statisticians, guys who can crunch the numbers, guys who know how, how, how the system works. Uh, of course, get involved with me down below. Hit the old comments, uh, of course, and say, hey, I'm, I'm interested in becoming a bit of a football expert for the channel. Please hop on board. I could do with some numbers, men, and, and that kind of stuff. But until then, guys, smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. See you soon in the next one, of course, which will be the fifth round of the FA Cup. But until then, we're done right here.